Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. In this episode I'm going to install the three fans I presented last Friday in my CTC Prusa i3. The fans are the Noctua NF-A4 X10 FLX and NF-A4 X20 FLX. Not a really cool name, but I'm very happy with the performance I have experienced with them so far. If you haven't seen yet the unboxing from last week, where I reviewed the best features of these fans, you can still do it clicking here in the top right corner or in the links in the description. You can use the affiliate links in the description as well to buy them while supporting the channel. One more time I'm gonna make clear that Noctua did not sponsor this video and this is my honest opinion of the products. Now I'm gonna proceed with the installation of the fans on my CTC Prusa i3, a nice 3D printer priced at a ridiculous 99 euros that you can buy through the link in the description as well. But before starting, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon in the bottom right corner of the video. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. For the upgrade, we are going to use the Noctua NFA4 X20 FLX for the layer fan and the two Noctua NF-A4 X10 FLX to cool down the extruder assembly as well as the electronics. The first one we are going to install will be the closest fan to the main board of the printer, that is the one cooling the electronics. For that the first we are going to do is to identify the cable and follow it to its connector in the board. Once identified we will pull from it and start disassembling the old fan that was making weird noises. To do that you can use for example the allen keys that came with the printer but personally I'm gonna use an adaptable screwdriver that has the head needed for our screws. So we'll release the screws and nuts and take the fan out of the frame of the printer. As you can see, the fan is full of dust and maybe that's one of the reasons it was not working properly. So I strongly recommend you to clean them regularly to get the best performance out of your 3D printer. Now we're gonna take all the remaining screws, clean the support and to install the new fan, the Noctua NF-A4 X10 FLX, this time instead of the stock screws we're gonna use the anti-vibration rubber feet included with the fan. So we'll introduce them from the back and we'll pull them in with the help of a pair of pliers to get the perfect fit. Once in place we'll place the fan introducing the four rubber mounts through the holes and one more time we'll pull from them with the pliers till we hear a small click in the fan and the fan is attached to the frame. Now we can just cut the rest of the supports since they are not useful anymore. Last but not least, we're gonna connect the cable of the fan to the main board. But we have a small issue, this connector in black is the one that comes with the fan since this white connector is the one used in the stock fan. It's not a big deal since we're gonna use the Omnijoin adapter set that was included in the package to connect it to our original plug. Being the adapter connected to the cable of the Noctua fan and afterwards we'll cut the black and red cables from the original fan to join them with the ones coming out of the adapter. Instead of star welding the cables we're gonna use two of the included 3M scotch lock connectors following the next steps. First we'll cut the original cable with a length of about 5 cm. Then we'll separate the two cables around 2 cm. Now we insert the two red cables into the scotch lock adapter. Now we'll press the yellow cap inside the device using a pair of pliers and once it clicks the cables will be locked in place. Now we're gonna repeat the process with the black cables and finally we have the two pairs of cables attached. Once the connector is ready we'll plug it into the board in the same socket we unplugged it before. Now we're gonna turn on the printer and check if the fan is working. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. Actually, it's even too powerful, so we're gonna take the included low noise adapter NARC11 and we're going to install it in between the original cable of the fan and the Omnijoin adapter. Let's check again if it works. And yeah, as you can see, it's working, the airflow is nice and it's making way less noise than before. We have the first fan installed and now we're gonna jump into the next one that will be the one cooling the extruder assembly. So as before, we are going to identify the cable that goes from this fan to the motherboard and unplug it. Next, we will take the fan out of the assembly releasing the two screws and here we have it. As before, the fan is full of dust, something that we would have had to clean earlier. Now we are going to present the new Noctua NFA4 X10 FLX in place to check where we are not going to run the cable through. And next we'll assemble everything back in place using the original screws we released before, but be careful and don't forget the heatsink. Once assembled, we're gonna repeat the process we followed before with the cables. So cut the cables of the stock fan, separate them, and finally attach the cable with the same color using the scotch lock adapters. 
lock everything in place and we're ready to go. But this time, not as before, we will need to use the 30cm extension cable that was included in the box before plugging it in place, since the distance of this cable will be longer. After installing the cable, we'll plug it in back in the same socket. At this point, there is only one fan left to be installed, and will be the one connected to the fan duct that we are going to replace with the Noctua NFA4X20 FLX. So one more time, we'll identify the connector and take it out. We'll have to repeat the process of cutting off the original plug from the stock fan and joining it with the Omnijoin adapter. Once it's done, we're gonna disassemble the stock fan from the fan duct and we'll install the new 20mm thick fan by Noctua. Now we'll connect the cable of the fan to the extension cable and the extension cable to the Omnijoin adapter and turn the printer on to check if it works. As you can see, both fans are working perfectly and they are really, really silent. Finally, what I'm gonna do is to play a comparison clip with the difference in noise of the fans. In the left of the screen, we have the stock fans that sound like... And in the right hand side, we have the Nocto ones that sound like... One more time, stock fans, Noctua fans. As you can see, there is a lot of improvement. Alright, so that has been everything for this 3D printer fans upgrade. Now if you want to upgrade your printer fans as well, please buy them from the links in the description, so you will be helping the channel with a small part of the price you pay on Amazon. So remember, buy lots of fans and 3D printers from the links in the description, and now stay tuned for the new content in the upcoming weeks, hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon. You can also follow us on social networks at Architects3DP to get the latest news, and please consider supporting my work on Patreon to keep making this channel possible. Besides helping us and making us super happy, you will also get nice rewards that you can check in our Patreons page, navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp or clicking in the link in the description. Okay, so as always, see you in the next video.